Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. Now, there are many glitches, Easter eggs, and hidden secrets in Forza Horizon 4. As you can see in some of these videos I have done. Make sure to check them out after this video. But some may just be small things that we didn't even know about, and they are right in front of our faces. Whatever they may be, they sure are interesting. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at eight more new glitches Easter eggs and hidden secrets that you didn't know about. Starting off with number one, two extremely rare wheel spin only cars left. So we know in Forza Horizon 4, not all cars are available to purchase in the auto show. For example, there are Forza Edition cars that could be won through wheel spins, which are actually pretty easy to obtain for most of them anyways. Some cars can only be won through seasonal championships or festival playlists, and even some have only been available in the Forzathon shop only, which truly makes collecting every single car in this game nearly impossible. However, with the recent introduction of the festival playlist and the Forzathon shop cars being changed every week, Given the game has been out for close to a year now, nearly all wheel spin only cars like the 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX STI, John Cooper Mini Works and even the Crown Vic have all appeared either as a reward from the festival playlist or even at the Forzathon shop for players to purchase. Except for two cars, which I hope we will see soon up for grabs. I know one for sure is the 2004 Honda Civic Type R, which have yet to appear anywhere but in wheel spins only. And I also believe the other is the Hoonigan Napalm Nova. If there are any more wheel spin cars that I have missed out that haven't appeared anywhere else, Make sure to write it down in the comment section below, but I believe these two are the only ones left for us to collect by earning them. Number two, the Lego Barn Find car. So there have been many rumors about what the Lego Barn Find car could be. As you all may know, the Lego Barn Find car is not currently available even if you have discovered the barnyard, which is an absolute shame. But for everyone who is wondering what the car is, well, Hype Beast wrote this article not too long ago talking about the release of the upcoming white 1974 Porsche 911 Turbo 3 litre for the LEGO Speed Champions collection. But interestingly enough, at the very end of the article, it said this. The car will also make its digital debut in the new Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions on Xbox One and Windows 10 PC this summer. So it's basically confirmed that this will be the car for the barnyard as there are only three vehicles in the Lego expansion and none of them were the Porsche. So there you go, a nice little barn find secret. Number three, the world's largest speed hump. So what you're gonna have to do is get into a car with a lot of horsepower and a very high top speed. So I've chosen the Ferrari 599XX Evolutione. You could choose a Mosler, a McLaren Senna, but the key thing is, is that your car must sink to the ground and begin to spark up, which is fairly common in many cars in Forza Horizon 4. And this is all you really have to do. When you go through Edinburgh, particularly on this road, if you can see I'll just go through to the mini map right now. So this is the road that we're going to be driving on right here. Now, I don't know if you guys know this one, but what you want to do is get onto oncoming traffic. And if I do this right, hopefully there'll be no, <laughs> no passenger cars in the way. You'll just catapult right into the air. <laughs> and look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Did you see the car just... <laughs> There's invisible walls and stuff. Oh man. I wish you could actually fly into into all those um, restricted areas. I think that'd be awesome. Ooh, oh, did you see that small hump as I was going backwards? All right, I'm going to do this one more time. All right, here we go. Can I do it again? Oh my... <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. So there we have it, guys. That's all you have to do if you want to experience the world's largest speed hump in Forza Horizon 4. Number four, auction house changes. Interestingly enough, this was actually not shown in their latest live stream, but according to Playground Games and their patch notes, the auction house have gone through some drastic changes. Now, I will not be going into full detail as to how it works as, from my understanding, it seems fairly complicated, but the car's maximum buy-up prices will now be determined based on how fast the cars are sold on the auction house. The maximum buyout price will still remain the same at 20 million credits. So basically, if there is a rare car, let's say a BMW M3 GTR up for auction, and there seems to be very to none up for sale because people are buying them fast, everyone who owns one that may potentially want to sell it on the auction house can sell it at a much higher price than what they normally would be going for. And vice versa for common cars that sell very slowly, which means their maximum buy-up prices will be reduced. According to Playground Games, legendary painters will not be affected by this and can still set any cars at the 20 million credit buyout, but it's the rest of us who will be affected the most by the new auction house changes. Number five, Mercedes mistake. With the new Top Gear update, there were a few awesome Top Gear inspired cars that were released too, including the Tractor, the six wheeler Mercedes, and also this nice Mercedes estate, which was conveniently turned into an off road beast. However, if you go into first person view, you do notice something that doesn't quite add up. Have you noticed it yet? Here, try again. I'll give you five seconds. Yep, that's it. 220 miles per hour on the dash. Guess if you get pulled over, you can say to the officer, well, I was only going at 120 miles per hour, not 140. Nonetheless, I'm sure this will get changed in time. So make the most out of it while you can. Number six, the Ford Transit van still bounces. All right, so Playground Games have done a good job in fixing many of their bugs that have occurred in their car. For example, if you guys remember this, the Spider-Mobile or the Batmobile within the Caterham, where the wings would just span out every time you'd jump into the air. So they have fixed that. That doesn't work anymore. However, with this Ford Transit van, if you guys have watched my previous Hidden Secret videos, you will notice that the Ford Transit van will do this. All right, so we are in current time right now as we go through the festival playlist to prove that this is i'm not playing any games or tricks this is the current update for forza horizon 4 you can see the chevy impala 96 has still yet to be unlocked i am online everything and now we're going to be driving the same ford transit that i built months and months ago and let's see if it still bounces like it did Ah, uh, this does not look good at all. <laughs> Come on, Playground Games. I know my tune is really good. But the only reason why it's stopping me from driving so well is because of this. I can't even turn. I'm full lock right now. All right. Now, some of you guys have messaged me through Xbox to find this actual tune. Now, I'm not going to put it as a glitch tune. I'm just going to name this tune as Ford Transit DHL. So have fun with this, guys. Number seven, the Lego Mini Easter Egg. Now, if you go all the way back to the beginning of the Lego Expansion Showcase, you would most likely remember the Mini Cooper Showcase where you would drive through various parts of the map. And on top of that, you would also be racing against other Lego Mini Coopers as well. But if you notice carefully, there are only two other LEGO Minis that you are racing against. And one of them is white and the other is blue. Of course, your LEGO Mini is red, giving the trio the color scheme referencing to the original movie, The Italian Job, back in 1969. 
I thought that was pretty cool. And did you guys pick up on this? Number eight, a new wide body kit. Very rarely do Playground games bring in a brand new body kit throughout the life of one of their Horizon games. But recently in update 11, they did bring us one. And it's for yet another Mini Cooper. But this time, the 1965 Cooper S. To apply it to your Mini, all you have to do is go into Upgrades, click on Conversion, go to Body Kit, and boom, there it is. It's not under the Wide Body Predetermined Body Kits, because over there, you'll find the Rally version, but here is where you'll find the Wide Body Kit. And then from there onwards, you can do whatever you like to make the Mini Cooper look awesome. So there we have it guys, eight brand new hidden secrets, easter eggs and glitches that you didn't know about in Forza Horizon 4. Write down in the comment section below which ones you did know and if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. Also, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on, that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.